What's up guys, my name is Alan, and in today's video, I'm gonna teach you everything you need to know about Wix performance. Regardless if you have an online store, an online blog, an online community, or just a basic website with information, I'm gonna teach you guys everything you need to know about making your website faster uh, using some pretty awesome techniques. Uh, so without further delay, let's go ahead and just check out this example. Let's see what it's actually rated, and then see what we can do to actually make this website much faster. And just as a disclaimer, everything we do in this video, you're gonna be able to do on your Wix website. So in this example, um, it is called Direct Connect MLS. It's an absolute gorgeous website. They sell uh, a online directory for homes for sale in Boston. However, their performance is absolutely horrible. Um, if you haven't already, the first thing we need to do to kind of see where your website currently stands on the uh, spectrum of speed, you need to go to gtmetrics.com. Again, that's gtmetrics.com. Enter the URL and then click on test site. Basically, this will give you a score for performance and this is what we wanna work on today. As you can see, directconnectmls.com, as beautiful as it is, suffers from a horrible performance. So let's go ahead and see what we can do to fix this. And if you're gonna follow along, follow on from right here because this is going to really help you out. First thing you need to do is obviously have a Wix website, go to wix.com, log in and select your site. From there, the first thing we wanna do on the left-hand side is click on settings, and you wanna go down, really, really down here to custom code. This is important because what you have to realize is that Wix, by default, has something called analytics and reports on the left-hand side. And as you can see, most of you who have online store will automatically try to add Google Analytics, they'll add Search Console, they'll add Pixel, and they'll add so many additional pieces of custom code that will really have to load uh, the, the pieces of code when your website loads, which in turn makes your website slower. So uh, because Wix has, again, analytics and marketing, which lets you see how many visitors you have, what the reports, what pages they're searching for, etc. we don't need anything. So you can go ahead and turn these off if you're unsure about something and wanna do some testing. In this case, as a professional, I know right away to simply delete this because I don't want any pieces of code loading uh, when, when visitors visit my website. So generally speaking, uh, this is what I like to see uh, to have the maximum performance for my website. So removing any additional custom code on your website is going to help the load time initially when people go to www.yourwebsite.com. With that being said, there's no need to save. It's automatically done right when you click on remove or disable. From there, we need to go ahead and figure out uh, what we can do in our editor to actually make our website faster. So at the bottom left-hand corner, click on Quick Actions and click on Edit Site. If you don't have Edit Site, then you'll notice in your dashboard, you'll have Edit Site on the top right-hand corner. Regardless, we wanna go ahead and load up our Wix HTML5 editor. And this editor is what you use to obviously build out your website. So um, first thing we need to figure out is why did GT Metrics, uh, why did Direct Connect MLS get such a horrible score? Well, I can already tell. Most of you guys who have an online store, have a blog, or just have an information-based website have a lot of pages. This is so important to realize that the amount of pages that you have determines the performance of your website in a little bit. So what we need to do is hover on the left-hand side right here under pages and look at every single one of the pages that we have. In this case with Direct Connect MLS, as you can see, a tremendous amount of pages. I'm not gonna tell you which pages to remove and which pages to keep, that's completely up to you. But if you absolutely do not need the page, then remove the page. It's going to dramatically increase the amount of performance you're going to get in the long run. Less pages, faster website. So with that to bit out of the way, take your time to go through your website, delete the pages that you don't need. Don't just hide the pages, but actually go ahead and click on the three little dots and click on delete. If you show, or if you simply hide your pages, that's not gonna work. You need to actually remove the page and the content of the page out of the editor and click on publish. Step number two, we need to go ahead and understand what Wix currently offers and then figure out, do we have any additional widgets that are really uh, slowing down my website? For example, in this case, Direct Connect MLS has something called WebStat. It's a third-party app. So if you actually click on this little uh, 
toggle on the left hand side. This is called the Wix app market. Most of you are familiar when you're trying to add new apps to your website, but unfortunately, every single time you add an app, an additional app and more apps, it decreases the performance of your website. We need to understand that by default, we don't need to add uh, as much widgets as we really think we need. Remember, widgets like uh, website are third party. We need to try to work within our first party applications, Wix stores, Wix blog, Wix video, Wix payment plan. There are so many first party applications that before we jump into trying to find a solution for one of your problems or features, don't always jump to third party applications. So this right here is a third party app. I'm gonna go ahead and delete it. And that's going to increase the performance of my website because we don't need to load that application and the code that it comes with. Another thing that we want to go, and, and remember, we want to hit publish on the top right hand corner. Another thing we want to do, and I'm going to get into the basic very, very shortly, but I want to get into a little bit more of an advanced section. We want to understand about first party apps versus third party apps. For example, this website right here, when I click on preview, has something really interesting. We've added an online store and we've added a, a feature called how to videos. How to videos is basically a section in the website that is using the Wix uh, video gallery. It's really, really cool. However, they're having a problem with load time. So one of the things I might recommend is that although visually you want your website to look absolutely amazing, this video player right down here is a addition, is another element that we've added on the homepage. But wouldn't it make more sense to allow people just to view all the content on the how-to videos instead of having an additional widget loading on the homepage? So what I would do in this specific case is I would actually delete the video player at the bottom so that I have less content being loaded at the very front. And then when I click on preview and click on how to videos, I think it makes more sense right now for this website who's suffering with performance to keep all the video content in the video page and not so much have uh, a little bit of elements here, a little bit of elements here, a little bit of widgets here, a little bit of widgets here, uh, but really just focus on having everything that's important and dedicated to that, to that page. With that being said, uh, another thing we can do is understand if you have an online store. So if you have an online store uh, and your website is having horrible performance, you want to go ahead and do the following. You want to go ahead and click on menus and pages, go to your online store, which is the shop page right here. And you want to make sure that when it comes to your online store, uh, I'll give you another example actually of Leonor Organics, which is another beautiful website we I built with this client. Leonor Organics um, used to have a problem with having so many different products on the homepage and still having an online store on the shop page. If you have an online store, the last thing you want to do is have uh, products, widgets on your homepage. So what I mean by that is if you scroll down to the very, very bottom, you'll notice that this is a widget. However, this store already has an online store page, but we're adding a widget here. In most common cases, if you click on, for example, your little store page on the left-hand side, you'll notice something called add store elements. Most of you have added elements everywhere on the site, uh, whether it's a product recommendation on the homepage, et cetera, et cetera. We want to get away from, again, having any additional um, pieces of elements, code, or uh, third-party applications from loading on the homepage because the homepage is going to be ultimately the most important page. So we want to go ahead and delete this. And if we can, within the actual, um, in, in this case, menu, as we can see with Leonor Organics, we want to go ahead and redirect everybody to the shop page where all the products are going to be displayed, again, compared to having widgets everywhere. One thing you can do to really make your uh, website performance really amazing and still have an awesome visual is when you're on the uh, shop page, simply click on your shop, click on settings. You want to go ahead and click on layout, expand your layout, add the margins to 15, and add filters. Once you add filters, look at collections and click on edit and make sure that you show all your filters. That way, every single one of your products on the left-hand side will be displayed. People can go through multiple products such as all occasions, just for moms, corporate gifting, without having to have so many pages dedicated to those products. You ultimately want to have one dedicated page for that product for that community, for that blog, for that piece of information they're looking for. Try to make everything organized within one page instead of having different elements on this page, this page, this page, this page, because that's going to just increase the amount of elements and load time. So with that being said, um, let's go ahead and see what else we can do. Another really simple tactic is not to have too much information 
uh, loading right on the forefront and not to have too much actual animation. So let's click on our menu, for example, any element you click will have this little animation uh, widget right here. When you click on it, we want to go ahead instead of having it fade in, again, if you're looking at this piece of content here, clicking on it, and again, having this float in, we want to go ahead and click on none. We want to make sure that the amount of interactions and things popping up and, and kind of transition in is very, very limited because realistically, um, that just takes more uh, coding when it comes to actually adding those elements. So let's go ahead and click on publish. Um, and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to keep looking at everything on this website. All right, so I'm going to take this little footer here. I'm going to bring it up right to the bottom, right to the top. And I'm actually curious to see what the new score on this website is going to be. I'm going to click on publish again. I'm going to click on publish one more time. I'm going to just confirm my pages. And let's go ahead and see if the 28 performance by clicking on retest. Uh, I'm going to click on exit, exit, exit. And let's do what we get. Um, so remember, we had an F. Uh, we removed multiple pages from our website. Uh, we removed any third-party widgets. We removed any third-party accessories. Uh, we kept everything internally and understand that having things dedicated to each page is important. Um, so with all those changes, let's just see how much better uh, we were able to increase our performance. There are definitely a lot more things we can do. Uh, I encourage anybody who is struggling with Wix performance to definitely reach out to me. I can definitely help you out with um, understanding your website performance a little bit better. A lot of the main issues is adding third-party widgets, third-party coding, uh, and making your website unorganized. Um, having an unorganized website with a lot of content will definitely decrease your performance. So we went from 28 to 68. It's a lot better. What I would recommend for Direct Connect MLS specifically is to have less content on the homepage. So if I was to make this website faster, I'd most likely remove this little chat feature because it is taking a lot of performance. However, uh, what I would recommend also for this website is to have um, less pages. It's so hard to have a website that has you know 30, 40 pages and expect that website to be extremely fast. So if this website went down to 25 pages, it would have a dramatic increase in performance. So this website honestly loads in 2.4 seconds. I pretty much can guarantee it to load around 1.6, but I need to decrease the amount of pages. So for anybody who's uh, had a performance increase but still struggling to hit the high 80s, then you want to go ahead and look at the amount of pages that you have. So hopefully this website, this video has helped you in any sense um, get a good idea of what actually is de um, determined by your performance. So these are the tweaks you can make. Hopefully you like them. If you have any questions, I will comment on the, I will reply to every single comment in the chat box below. Hopefully you like this video uh, and have yourself a great day.